as far as where it currently stands with our policy as far as smoking vaping is put under the policy of smoking um, in that it's permitted on campus where there are designated smoking areas but as far as like university buildings including residence halls it's not allowed my name is Elizabeth Moore and I'm the residential learning coordinator and academic associate I currently oversee Richardson Hall the average 18 to 21 year olds about cigarettes would be like, no, it's bad for you, it causes cancer, blah, 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 blah. And versus e-cigs, jewels, and things of that nature in that category, you will hear the argument that it's healthier than smoking cigarettes. But at the same time, you will not necessarily hear a whole lot of peer-reviewed academic research because it's lacking. As far as the education piece, I think we need to get more aggressive on it. And that's it's an industry that's still largely unregulated. The people making the rules have a largely dated idea of what smoking is. Cigarettes, bad. Marijuana, bad. Jewel, we don't quite understand it, slash we don't even know what we're looking at, to be honest. I There are times that I go through digs and I will see students and they're charging their device on their computer. And I see what it is, but I don't think if you ask someone who's probably 20 years older than me, would they know what they're looking at? I think the reality is, is that every time that fire alarm goes off, we're going into crisis mode. In our mind, we're always thinking this could be an actual emergency, but then you get up there and like, oh, it smells very fruity. Somebody got a little carried away. Like they admit they don't think. And then afterwards they're like, oh, I realize now that this impacts me.